Come on, what's with all the f***ing attitude? Well, I'll be honest, Vicky, I'm a little pissed off at you. You know, you know how what badly... What did I do? You know how badly I wanted to go to one of the three slash shows, either the Troubadour, the Whiskey, or the oh, Roxy. Oh, like, I control that but it's like he gave me two pairs... He gave me one pair of tickets. You, you could you could have given me the other ticket. I had to take That's my cameraman. I did a blog. I mean... Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just saying, Vicky. Just saying, Vicky. Oh, are we rolling? Oh, hey! Shit. Okay, so hey, I'm here with Brooklyn Almond, the lead singer of Picture Me Broken. Hey, Vicky. Okay, we're over it now. We're over it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so tell me what's going on with you and the band. Picture Me Broken is a project I've had for several years now, and um, it started out when I was just kind of a kid and just passionate about playing rock and roll. And um, we played a bunch of shows, and that later evolved into us recording and signing a couple of deals and touring. So it really just came from this love of music and performing and working with like-minded people. And um, the sound has evolved over the years, but the one consistent factor has always been that it's been a rock band. We've liked to be dark, theatrical, and you know, over the top, like all our favorite artists. Where did you grow up? I grew up in the Bay Area. Um, I moved to LA about two years ago, and I actually noticed. Um, when you move to LA, it does become a little bit more serious with your project. Um, we started touring more seriously and extensively um, within like six months of moving here. Um, the Bay Area was great because I got to play a lot of local shows, and the scene over there is pretty supportive of you know young artists. But um, when you move to LA, it definitely becomes a little more serious for sure. Tell me a little of your process too. What, what's going on? Um, you know, I started the project at such a young age that um, you know it, it kind of takes on. It's one great thing about having a project when you're really young is that it's so unfiltered and you do exactly what you want to do and it's fun and it's energetic and raw. But then as you get older and your music ch tastes change and you kind of find out who you are more as an artist, you kind of want your project to reflect that a little more. So what inspires you or who inspires you? <laughs> well, um, I think for so many years um, I was really rebelling against getting into more classic rock and more of the the greats because it was you know kind of shoved down my throat because of my family heritage but I was only cheating myself and then as I got older and as I you know I had the opportunity to tour with people like Alice Cooper and see how it's done and see how an epic larger than life rock and roll show looks and then I you know you get into you know all of the great music and then it just sets the bar so much higher Okay, well, Gene Simmons recently said that rock is dead. How do you feel about that? I had I posted I made a post about how I felt. I, uh, <laughs> I uh, with all due respect to Gene Simmons, I think he's completely wrong. I think um, yes, the music industry is dead. Yes, it's suffering. Yes, we have to find a new business model. Um, but I don't think rock and roll is dead. I think it's up to the artist to save it. I don't think it's to blame for you know illegal downloading. I don't think the fans aren't there. I think honestly that the artists aren't necessarily pushing the envelope. So you must have been like 20 when you toured with Marilyn Manson was, and Alice Cooper, right? Yeah, I found out I got the tour when I was 19. Um, I started really young, but um, I, we were out with a band called Otep, metal band, totally awesome, kick-ass, but we found out we got this big tour and we were actually playing in a barn that day. <laughs> it was like, so it was so funny because we just got the news and it was kind of one of the shows in the tour where you're like, yeah. I might want to go home right now, <laughs> but um, it was such fantastic news and we love playing so much that um, oh, there's no better crash course than watching two legends every night. Greg Allman is your father. How was it growing up? I didn't grow up with my dad. Um, I would see him a few times a year maybe. Um, we didn't become super close until more recently. We kind of relate on a musical level and he's one of my best friends. And um, yeah, the, the older I got and the more I got into music, we were able to relate on that level quite a bit. I mean, I'll be singing with him pretty soon here. I have sung with him before and it was an absolute pleasure. And um, he has some good advice, but he's very make it on your own, you know, pave your own way. And it's not like a lot of people will assume, oh, you have an easy ride because of who your dad is. Um, it's definitely not the case. You almost I have think to work, it's harder. You have to work twice as hard because people expect so much more from you. They expect you have everything handed to you. Um, so, you know, you've got to kind of prove yourself a little bit more. So what's next for you and? Definitely a, uh, a record. I mean, we want to keep on the road, obviously. Uh, we kind of took some time off to regroup. Uh, we had some lineup changes 
and we wanted to really finish writing that record. We did finish it once, and we ended up scrapping it for a number of reasons. And this time around, we really want to capture what we've been trying to, to go for, and uh, we've just been writing, writing, writing. You're playing a couple of shows, though, coming yeah, up, Yeah, right? yeah, we are playing a couple of shows coming up. I'm really excited because we haven't played full shows in quite some time. We'll be playing October 4th, The Chain Reaction, with The Killing Lights, and... October 18th at Bar Sinister, first LA headliner actually. So how do we find you on the web? We are on facebook.com slash picture me broken band, youtube.com slash picture me broken, twitter.com slash picture me broken. And I should use the Instagram more, but dot com slash or at picture me broken band. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad about that. <laughs> So do you have any advice that you want to give upcoming rockers or you yeah, know, industry um, people in general? I mean, I think that the best advice right now for all the artists trying to make a mark in rock music is to be over the top, completely go for it. You know, you've got nothing to lose because it's such a crazy industry. It's every man for himself right now because of the way, you know, the internet is. So go forth with your vision and conquer. Kill everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to look at a clip of Picture Me Broken. This one's called Mannequins. And here's the clip. <laughs> Awesome. Well, this is Vicki Hamilton for Aesthetic B Vlog with Brooklyn Almond, and we are signing off.